Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Today, I'm talking about my choices for book lover Amanda's Southern Charm Readathon for 2023, and I will post the graphic of all the choices here. I have my books picked out. Um, and the prompts are over here. So with that, let's start. First prompt is Bless Your Heart, an emotional or heartwarming book. This is easy for me. It will be on my Kindle. It is How to Kiss Your Enemy by Jenny Proctor. <laughs> I love everything Jenny Proctor writes. I am looking forward to this book. And it will make me laugh. It will make me cry. And it will just be a sweet, lovable, enjoyable story. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Next up is Heavens to Betsy, a mystery or thriller that will shock you. And I have chosen The Darkest Evening by Anne Cleves. It is a Vera Stanhope novel. And this is also on my personal 2023 Pregnant Pub Reading Challenge to read a police, police procedural. I love Vera Stanhope, so... This is an easy love for me. Next up is Chicken and Dumplings, a book that a book you think will be a comfort read. And for that, I have chosen, for some reason, I read these out of order, which is unlike me, um, Anne Canado's Hounds of the Basket Stitch. And this is... I'm going to say eight or nine. I'll put it down here in the um, Black Sheep Mystery Series. It's cozy mystery. I always love them, so it, it's an easy choice for me. Next up is Sweet Tea, a book with something sweet on the cover or a sweet story. And for that, I have chosen a couple of these are um, Ned Gally arcs that I need to get to. This is one of them. A Match in the Making by Jen Toronto. I'll read it on my Kindle. It's supposed to be fun and funny and sweet, so that's easy for me. Next up is a free space, thanks to Southern Hospitality. And for that, I've chosen another arc I have, and that is He Should Have Told the Bees by Amanda Cox. It's... Uh, Christian fiction, and it is also in that galley arc. Next up is Hey Y'all, a book with more than one point of view. And for that, I have chosen Philippa Gregory's Three Sisters, Three Queens. This is on the my personal 2023 reading challenge of read a book your neighbor lent you. And this is from my wonderful neighbor next door, Kim. It's Philip Gregory. I know I love it, so it was an easy choice for me. Next up is Hot as Blue Blazes, a book with a hot setting. And for that, I have chosen The Sun by Philip Meyer. This is on my anticipated five-star reads, as is Three Sisters, Three Queens, I believe. Um, this has been on my TBR for a very long time. I am looking forward to it. It's set in the West specifically Texas, so it'll be hot, no problem. Next up is All the Fixins, a book with in multiple genres. And for that, I have chosen Daughter of Destiny by Lizzie Lane, which is a Net Galley arc. It is the first in the series. I will put the name down below. I have forgotten it. I know it is a re-release title, so it was released under a different title, and I'm not sure what that is. But it's told from multiple perspectives. I know it's historical. I know there's a, a mystery involved, so it should fit that genre. And the last choice is Howdy Partner, a book featuring friendship or family. This is also on my personal 2023 reading challenge. It is also an anticipated five-star read for... The second quarter of 2023, and that is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This is 
fantasy. It features a band of mercenaries who were once friends and who have to get back together again to rescue somebody. People either love it or hate it. It's been on my shelf for a little bit. I need to read it. It looks fun. It fits the prompt perfectly. So I can knock out a bunch of prompts, a bunch of challenges, and I'm good. So those are my choices for the Southern Charm Readathon. Editing Tammy, I forgot to mention a book when I was filming this for this particular video. I have a bonus read for my Southern Charm Readathon. That is Pieces of Forever by Valerie M. Bowden. This was, keeps coming across my Instagram feed. I chose it specifically to honor Amanda for her first readathon and it's because it's set in Tennessee and I know how much Amanda loves living in Tennessee and everything Tennessee related. So it seemed like the perfect time to read this book. I know the third book in the series, fourth book in the series is about to release. Um, and I love the cover. Something about this cover just speaks to me every time I see it. So hopefully I love it and I will report back. So Amanda can pick it up if she loves it, if she thinks it might interest her too. Thanks to Amanda. And I look forward to your comments. If you've read any of these down, please let me know down below, like, and subscribe. And I will see you here next time at the protagonist pub.